Sure, my name is Michael Sizemore. Mike, everybody calls me Goose. I got stuck with that in the 80s when I was uh, a whitewater rafting guide. I grew up in Oak Hill, West Virginia, and now I live in Athens, West Virginia. Uh -huh. And what do you do, Goose? I, I make art. I make art every day. I'm inspired to wake up and, and just create. I do, uh, in the winter times, mostly pen and inks and paintings. When the weather turns nice and I can get outside, I like to make sculpture. And I also have a, a line of copper sculpture like what you see behind me here. And I've been selling those for right around 20 years. I started making those in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And now I'm transitioning into estate pieces, which are rather large, upwards of 15 feet. Nice. Beautiful thing. Now you've been rather involved with a, a lot of community endeavors um, in Athens and also in Princeton. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, yes. Well, you, uh, well, the Riff Raff Arts Collective and being connected with the folks in Princeton and the networking that I do, they asked me to create a couple of different things. Artist Alley, I did a, uh, a mural there with the dragonfly on it, and, and then they commissioned me, the city actually commissioned me to make an entryway and an exit way, which is an arch over top of Artist Alley. And, you know, anything I could be part of. I like to be part of the art scene, so... Awesome. And yeah. you've done a lot of uh, work for, like, there's a couple of public works of art in Athens. Yes, right? there is. I just uh, set Beacon number four, and that is at the small park beside the post office in Athens, West Virginia. And Concord University also commissioned me to make some bronze mountain lions back in 2003. So that was done. And then there's some other iron work around town that I've done. But the Beacon series is the most recent, and that is uh, a series of sculptures I'm up to number nine right now, and they're based on dreams that I have. I wake up with the dream, I write down the dream, and then I make the dream, and it just keeps going from there. Nice. That's beautiful. And you're a real social guy. I feel like I, I, you're involved with a lot of circles of creative people, and you're involved in the music scene. Is that right? I am indeed, yes. I'm playing in a band. Uh, most recently is called the Cedar Wax Wings, which is a kind of a folky little rock and roll mix, and also been with the Poor Taters for quite a while. And before that, it was uh, Billy Goat Gruff. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's a long musical history there. Music, well, arts, uh, you know, if you're an artist, uh, you might as well make music also. So. <laughs> That's right. So you guys are playing at Celebrate Princeton on June 13th. Um, we are indeed, yes. One of the many yeah. ways you're involved with the downtown. Looking uh, very forward to it. So thank you for donating your time for the uh, theater restoration project. Could you tell me a little bit about your process with the tile? Sure, the tile itself, um, you know, I used to do a bunch of watercolors with mountain scenes and suns rising, you know, kind of the West Virginia thing that I see from my front porch when I look out. I can see that aerial perspective, so I kind of kind of wanted to put that down and revive some, some old style of paintings that I used to do. And, and then, of course, I incorporated the copper spiral in the work, and the spiral is one of my favorite shapes. It's derived from petroglyphs from all over the world, meaning the the travel of life. Mm -hmm. So after I finished the painting, I figured why not throw a piece of copper on the face of it, you know? Awesome. Well, Tie it beautiful. to what I do in the past. Yeah, that's really recognizable. Beautiful piece of work. So thank you again for donating your time. Is there anything you'd like to tell the listeners or any uh, shout outs you'd like to? Yeah, if, if you're inspired to make art, go make art. Mm -hmm. Make art every day.